The unified welterweight champion Errol Spence Jr. and the WBO champ Terrence Crawford are once again circling each other. But once again, it feels like a load of hot air. In an interview with DAZN, Spence Jr. insisted that a fight between the two should happen in 2021, but only on the condition that he gets the lion's share of the purse. I'm the big dog at the welterweight division, claimed Spence. He got to take a back seat and take that 60-40 or 70-30 split, whatever we give him. In response, Crawford, arguably the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world and the man who unified all four belts at lightweight, apparently gave up hope on the highly anticipated bout. And they said it was me, tweeted Bud. I rest my case now. On to the next. That chapter is now closed. The two champions are the standouts of the welterweight division, but there is another option for them at 147 pounds who could make either of them a very rich man. The boxing icon and pay-per-view magnet Manny Pacquiao currently holds the WBA version of the strap, and he's currently without a dance partner. And in the UFC, there's some bad news for the number one middleweight contender, Robert Whittaker. The former champion has won his last two bouts in a row since losing the title to Israel Adesanya and hoped to get a rematch with the champ in March or April this year after the birth of Whitaker's next child. But the UFC has made other plans. I don't think he's going to get a title shot next, mused Dana White. He'll have to fight somebody else first. It's going to depend on what happens with Israel and Yah. We'll see what happens. Israel is set to face the new light heavyweight champ, Jan Blahovich, this March in a clear move to set up a potential super fight with John Jones. This leaves Whitaker with only one viable option if he wants a rematch anytime soon. Paulo Costa also wants a rematch with the champ, and he's willing to fight anyone to get it. The only question now is if Bobby Knuckles feels the same. And Jorge Masvidal has threatened to leave Twitter in solidarity with his hero, Donald Trump, after the president was permanently banned from the platform. The BMF champ's supportive action should be about as effective as Donald's hair and makeup artist. So good luck with that. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.